So Driven Empire just had a big update where they added four new cars, one of which is a limited, which I will be driving in a little bit, and three other cars that I will be checking out in the dealership right now. As you can see, this is the new limited they added. It's the 2023 FSC Lizard Hostile, which is basically the SSC Tuatara, I believe. I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to pronounce the name. You can see it's basically five million dollars. There's only three thousand sold so far and the stats of the car are insane oh my goodness look at this 481 kilometers per hour top speed the acceleration is 2.4 seconds which is not the best but the handling is 82 percent which is insane this probably means it's good on the circuit race or maybe absolutely insane on the cross country race because of the top speed and you can just see how beautiful the car looks i mean from the front it's kind of giving me like from this angle i see it like one of the newest recent Lamborghini models mixed with a Ferrari a little bit and from the back I don't know if it's just me but doesn't it give you like McLaren vibe from the back or is it just me anyways let's look at the other cars they have added you can see these are the three new cars they have added you know the Porsche the four star Porsche that costs like 20 million to get from the crates well they have its sister basically here this isn't the Martini like it doesn't have the Martini but it's basically the same model I would say and it's only costs you 1.5 million dollars this has a top speed of 352 kilometers per hour acceleration 2.2 seconds and the handling is 43 percent and i must say it does look amazing it's basically the same model anyways not too much to say about that the interior though very detailed next up we have the mclaren the 2019 mclaren i don't know which model this is supposed to be it does look nice i mean it doesn't look like the best mclaren out there the exhausts are here so the boost would look very sick the stats of the car are 326 kilometers per hour top speed the acceleration 2.8 seconds and the handling is 60 percent and last but not least we have this absolutely huge cadillac for a family of seven dude there's seven seats in this car which is insane and it looks so big and huge it actually looks very beautiful as well this is this has a top speed of 233 kilometers per hour acceleration four seconds handling 38 percent so i don't think you're gonna be doing any any racing in this car but it does look sick and it would be fun to have like i don't know role play gangs in the game and you just like get one of these and drive your friends around but that's enough looking at the cars it's time to actually drive them and i must say look at this beauty i am borrowing this car from my friend professant so big thank you to him i'm gonna leave a link to his channel in the description but yeah look oh my god the front doesn't even open the normal way it opens the other way Way around with these hydraulic sticks so i don't even need to pull anything there's nothing in the front though uh the doors of course butterfly doors what do you expect they do leave this tiny section though it looks very tiny from there and the best part about this car is the engine bay oh my god look at the engine it says lizard on the engine dude what the heck is this powered by like lizard fuel or like lizard blood or something and look at oh my i love the detail they put into the engines on some of these cars it's actually insane and this car is rapid oh my god of course it doesn't have one of the best accelerations but it does look beautiful and it does jump very high oh my god let's not break the car it's not mine i'm gonna be using a max sound car by the way so remember that and let's get to racing first up we're gonna be doing the drag race to see what kind of time we get remember acceleration 0 to 100 was 2.4 seconds so not the quickest but let's see what it can do on on this drag circuit there we go full boost now we wait 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 full boost again. oh i didn't use my boost properly okay a 7.647 that's the kind of time you can expect on with this car on the drag race maybe even a 7.5 if you're quicker or better on the boost than me i am using automatic so also keep that in mind not very quick there are quicker drag race in the car next up we're gonna be doing the drawbridge sprint the person who lent me the car did a one oh nine on this track so let's see if we can get close to him my personal best on this track was a 119 in my mclaren so whatever i set with this car is definitely gonna be an improvement there you go we have started already on the green and we lost a bit of time okay oh my god we're losing time because of the acceleration okay let's avoid touching the wall or the barrier because that doesn't gain us any time 
Oh my god. Ah, that was super hard. There you go. We're already up one second and we just did the bridge part. And now we do the jump. Let's hope the car doesn't break or something. I am up 1.3 seconds. Usually I would be... Oh my god. I Okay, well I almost... Oh no! Oh my god, I crashed. I'm gonna give it one more try. This car really gains a lot of time on the streets. That's basically one of the strengths of this car is like the top speed it has. And oh my god, no, no. Okay, we all almost flipped there we did lose a bit of time but nobody cares we're still up like three seconds if i don't flip again okay let's try to gain time on the straight there you go we finished that was a 114.6 like i said my friend who's actually good at the game he did a 109 so that's what you should probably expect unless if you're slow at like me and you crash everywhere then 114 is probably what you're gonna get done but we've done drawbridge sprint we've done drag race i think it's time to try this car on the circuit race somehow we're already down on our personal best okay we're already oh my god oh my god this car is actually amazing through the corners what the heck this car is actually giving me the perfect uh, ow okay well i take that back but like i was saying this car is giving me the perfect grip through the corners and it just doesn't react well with the bumps maybe because this car is super low but it's really struggling with the bumps they need to have a solution for that because if i was in a competitive race and a bump ruined my race dude i'm suing somebody we're already up 2.5 seconds oh my god this car is insane this is probably gonna be an easy sub three minute lap time on this car from a bad driver as well i'm not even that good dude oh my god we're up five seconds on the first lap what the heck oh my god no 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 I, okay well i just lost three seconds by crashing into the barriers i'm not gonna be restarting this race but i will just imagine i gained those three seconds back the delta thingy with the checkpoints really helps you figure out how much time you're losing i really like it i'm glad they added it there you go we're on the start finish straight and we improved oh my god we did a two minutes 53.5 and i said i lost like three seconds so basically i could have done a two minute 50 second lap time and let's just imagine i'm not a slow driver i could have set a two minutes 45 so that's the kind of time you can expect if you're a good driver in this game on the circuit race with this car at two minutes 45 maybe 46 or 47 let me know what time you guys actually set on this track and last but not least i'm gonna do the highway race i don't think i'm gonna bore you with the cross country race i'm just gonna put up all the times from every track you can expect with this car after this race but let's see what this car can do on the highway race it should be super good on here considering it has an insane top speed i don't have a personal best on here to compare to let's see okay so far so good we're, we were going 600 kilometers per hour oh my god i feel like soon enough they might add a fighter jet well i mean they do already have planes in the game i wouldn't be surprised if they added a fighter jet dude and there you go what was that 27.564 i think i could have gained a second if i was if i was more clinical with the boost and the transmission but yeah this car absolutely insane i love it let me know what you think about it and if you think it's worth 5 million it's gonna go off sale in about four days so don't miss it and also if you want to watch a video where i showcase the best and cheapest way to open crates and get the cards you want and i also reviewed the ferrari f40 and the porsche click the video that pops up on the screen right now and smash the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel to not miss any future ones and i see you guys next time bye bye